Premiere Pro is fast, but it can be faster. So in this video, I'm gonna give you five tips that will make Premiere Pro run smoothly on any machine. Whether you're aware of this or not, you're probably using quite some effects and transitions that are actually GPU accelerated. Think about crop, scaling, opacity, cross dissolve, just to name a few. For that reason, you wanna make sure that you have GPU acceleration turned on. This will help playback your project and all the effects in real time very smoothly. Now to do this, go to File, Project settings, general, video rendering and playback and set the renderer to Mercury Playback Engine GPU Acceleration. Now this could be OpenCL, CUDA, CUDA or Metal. Whatever it is, don't choose software. Here's a question for you. When was the last time you deleted media cache? This can take up a lot and a lot of storage. So I recommend to delete it when you're done with a project or delete it quarterly. Whatever you do, make sure that you delete it every now and then. To delete this, go to Preferences, Media Cache, and then hit Delete. Now, if this option right here is grayed out, restart Premiere Pro and delete the media cache before opening a project. Now, as you can see, there is also an option to automate this, which I would highly recommend in case you forget this a lot. Having enough RAM to run Premiere Pro smoothly is very important. I would say that the absolute minimum is 32 gigabytes, which is what I have in my PC. However, if you work a lot with 4K footage, then I would say at least 64 gigabytes. And when you have all of that RAM, you need to take advantage of it by allocating as much to it as you can to Premiere Pro. To do this, we're going back to preferences, memory, and then allocate as much as you can. If the playback is choppy, try lowering the resolution. You can do that right here in the right corner. You probably don't wanna lower it below one fourth, but honestly, you gotta do what you gotta do. Another great way to run your project more smoothly is by using proxies. Essentially, when you're creating proxies, you are downgrading the footage so it gets easier to edit. Now, you don't need to worry because you're not actually affecting the original quality of the original files. So yes, when you're done editing with proxies, you can still export stunning 4K videos. So so how do we do this? Step one, open the media browser within Premiere Pro. Step two, click on the wrench and then click on create proxies from the drop down menu. Step three, choose your preset. And step four, click on OK, then right click on the folder that you want to import and click import. Now you're seeing that automatically the Adobe Media Encoder is being opened and your proxies are being created. To check if the proxies are actually attached to the files, you can go right here to list view, right click, click on the metadata display and then select proxies. If we go back to list view and we scroll all the way to the right, we can see now that the proxies have been attached. There's one more thing that we need to do and that is to enable the proxies. And we do this by going to the plus sign right here, drag toggle proxies and turn on the button by clicking on it. Now that your computer is running Premiere Pro a lot faster, it is time for you to be faster as well. So make sure that you check this video right here and don't forget to subscribe.